Keith Haring's an artist you know, and an activist who really emerged in the 1980s. We all know his imagery is flying saucers, his crawling babies, but there hasn't been you know, a big sort of survey that really places Keith Haring in his time, his activism, his public work, you know, his pop shop work, his subway drawings, you know, this way in which he was working very collaboratively with pop culture and activism in the 80s and really surveys him in the time. The way in which I mean, this show is really about New York in the 1980s and how, how Keith Haring was working in, in a very public way, uh, but he was also working in response to things like HIV AIDS activism, to apartheid, to the Cold War. All these geopolitical themes seem to sort of come through and be compounded in his imagery in the 1980s. I think when we announced the show, we knew that there was a real appetite to see Keith Haring. And the fact that it was the first major UK show was significant, so we sensed very quickly that there would be a, a huge audience. But I think what's also been exciting is, is the range of the audience. We've had very young people, we've had people who are interested in, in, in activism, in graphics or fashion or pop music or hip hop and street art, you know, a real convergence of different audiences at the same time. So, you know, it's been a really, really successful show. I think this work here, I think, is, is really key. This is a work called The Matrix, which Haring made in Connecticut in 1983. And it really shows the way in which he was working in this very a vivid style that seems to be sort of symptomatic of the energy of the 1980s. You can see, you know, the radiant babies, the dollar signs, the flying saucers, the crosses, all these different symbols that seem to be like modern hieroglyphs. And I think, you know, people sort of know the imagery, you know, and it really drops you into the time of the 1980s. But it really shows how many of the themes that Haring was addressing, you know, access to capitalism, concern for the environment, racism, access to healthcare, these seem to be very present in 2019. Well, the show really unfortunately closes on the 10th of November, which is this Sunday. So we're really looking forward to a large audience over this weekend.